Hello everyone. Welcome to the live demo of SAP Cloud Integration Training, which is on SAP BTP. What is this BTP? BTP is your business technology platform, and your cloud integration is a part of your BTP. Cloud integration, in short form, we are calling it as a CI. In initial days and all, we were calling it as a HCI. HCI means HANA Cloud Integration. Later, we have called it as a CPI. That is the most popular uh, name and all. CPI, that means Cloud Platform Integration. And nowadays, we are calling it as a CI, that is your Cloud Integration. Sometimes you will see SCI. S C I is SAP Cloud Integration, which is the latest name and all. And it is a part of your SAP BTP. This training is organized by Anuho Trainings. This BTP or Cloud Integration or CPI, you are going to uh, get deep dive into your CI or CPI. It's all about the serious recap about like what is the CPI, CI and all. It's all about the rebranding things. SAP has rebranded its name from HCI to CP. Obviously, they have introduced new things, but when you open any cloud platform integration tool or CI tool, whatever you say, you will get the latest one only because it's a part of the cloud. You will always get the latest thing, latest version and all. Same thing happened with the BTP, and it was a cloud platform and all. Nowadays we are call it is a we are calling it as a business technology platform. Obviously, SAP has entered lots of things in SAP BTP, but yeah, it's all about the marketing purpose, all about the rebranding things. And all. Let's go with the agenda for today's demonstration. This course is for, I mean, we are going to see. Who can join this course? Who is this course for? For whom it is a suitable or who can join it? Then we'll see course overview. The third one will be like a demo. I will give you a live demo, live integration between two non-SAP applications and both will be on cloud. And the last one will be a question answer. Okay. Why I am going to give you the demo? Of integration bit between non SAP application. The reason is there is a myth that SAP tool can integrate SAP only, SAP applications only. No, it is not like that. CPI can able to integrate SAP, non SAP, on premise or cloud based tool, anything, any kind of system it can integrate let's start with who is this course for who can join this course and all let's start with the Mary uh, Mary is a fresher and uh, I mean she has no experience and she somehow she got to know from LinkedIn or somewhere in the Google and all she searched like what course she can go for because she was not interested in that much coding and all but yeah, she had idea, little idea about SAP. So she decided uh, to go for a course. And when she got to know like in SAP, CPI, there is a less coding. So she decided to check with us. She consulted us. And uh, later we have convinced her that this course can be joined by pressure. And they will be capable of doing the integration things and all in future ones. And this course is designed in such a way that a pressure also can join it, can learn it, and can implement it in, in the future as an integration consultant. But we are happy now uh, from Anuho Training side, I can say that we are happy now that Mary is successfully deployed in a project. And she is now an integration consultant. Initial days, I mean, 
uh, she has a lots of query and all like uh, i can do it not do it i'm a fresher i have no idea about sap even i heard about sap little sap and all but not about the cpi what is this and all but yeah we can say that i mean we can happily say that i mean she is uh, she learned it and now she is in a project and she is uh, delivering the uh, i mean deliverables and all in a nutshell if i say if you have a little bit idea of coding if you are from a technical background you can join this course let's come with the robert robert is a sap pipo consultant he knows sap he was doing the work on sap pipo sap pipo is a middleware tool like your cpi sap cp sap pi or po is a middleware tool which is again the used to integrate the multiple system but only difference was that it is on the on premise side but your cpi is on the cloud side now he got to know i mean last year ticket and all sap is not going to support by end of this ticket to sap pi and po and also recent if you go for the recent news and all SAP has clearly told that they are not going to give the new updates for your on-premise things and all. They are going to invest in cloud only. New updates will come to cloud only. Now he wanted to join it. He was a little confused whether he can be able to perform. I mean, how uh, he can. Uh, visualize how i mean uh, because he he was a consultant i mean he is the same thing he was doing but the process wise it's a little bit different visual perspective i say like graphical perspective it is it was a different and all a cpi perspective so he wanted to learn yeah i can say that he is also a part of the project he is a part of from pipo to cpi migration project then we have a ruby ruby is integration architect and all and she is i'm mean, like a kind of freelancer freelancer she is an architect also and she has already i mean on some of the middleware tool for example like you have Amusoft or Delvomi or different different tools and all. She recently found that I mean SAP CPI has a huge demand and all many many projects were coming, but even she has missed one or two project also. Now in future I mean she doesn't she doesn't want to uh, miss it. Uh, the project and all SAP CPI. I will tell you why I mean there are lots of projects were coming and all. now she wanted to learn it yeah she has joined our course and currently she also is uh, delivering the she is integrating she is doing as a architect working as a architect from the cpi perspective and she is uh, because she knows i am in sap cpi she is deployed in sap project and working as integration architect currently then ferin he is a technology manager and actually he is from one of the pharma company you know i mean he has no idea about sap much you know he heard about sap and all and what happened in his project uh, in his company uh, company sap was introduced and he wanted to integrate sap with some of the different existing applications he got to know that sap cpi is more suitable against any other middleware tool to integrate sap system he wanted to know whether cpi can is capable of integrating sap with his application his deployed application in his company organization he learned it later uh, i can say that when we met again i mean like uh, 
we had a discussion because we have contact i mean it's like uh, we know uh, uh, him uh, so a letter we got to know that uh, when we consulted again and all uh, i can say like again for him in this course or in this uh, this case also in his project he has implemented sap cpi to integrate sap with the non sap application and nowadays he is guiding his team member like what to do how to integrate not to integrate and after completing this course so in a nutshell this whole course is from fresher to experienced guy if you are a technical or a low or a, i can say that if you have even a small information little information about your sap cpi a uh, little information about code you have done a little bit coding and all in the initial days you can join this course and even you are a manager also you can join this course let's go with the overview of the, this course what we are going to cover in this course going through the fundamentals yes we will tell you what is this btp concepts about btp how btp is working like global account sub account your connectivity your instances and all your entitlement security and all then we'll see what are the capabilities are there under integration suite this is our main focus your cloud integration where we are going to be deep we are going to learn it concepts of your cloud integration with our cpi and we'll see the real world scenario also last one is your api management and and open connector yes this time we have introduced hands on training of your api management along with your sap cpi you will get hands on experience in on your sap cpi plus api management you are going to learn both main focus will be cloud integration and then we'll see how your api management will occur you will get a task and all how you can start working on api and all how you can create your own apis what are the features of the api will give you the real world scenario and all with the api management and all also we'll see the open connectors also now let's go with what we are going to do today we are going to explore sap btp then we'll see what is this asset then we'll see how or what is your cloud integration your integration suite and from the integration suite perspective i will tell like what are the key features of your cloud uh, of integration suite and the last we'll see a demo as i promised earlier we will go uh, to integrate non sap application to non sap application using sap cpi let's just start with what is sap btp sap btp is a unified business centric and open platform for the entire sap ecosystem enabling users to integrate and create value from data and extend their sap and third party solution landscape to meet evolving business needs your sap btp brings together data management analytics artificial intelligence you may heard like sap has their own ai and all application development automation and integration in one unified environment your sap btp nowadays working on a concept that is low code or no code that means either there will be less code or no code so that you can deliver your project on time and or you can say the before date and all before time and all things will be there some of the packages will be there you have to just install it you have to just copy in your system establish the connectivity and you are done your sap btp extend and personalize sap applications or integrated or integrate 
I mean, and connect entire landscapes with SAP BTP platform. Your business users to connect process and experiences decide confidently with integrity and continuous business innovation. So your SAP BTP has lots of feature and one of the feature is your integration. I will give you a, one example. Like if there is an organization, whether an existing SAP customer or maybe an SAP ecosystem, a new to SAP ecosystem, who wants to build a cloud solution or a mobile solution. In this solution, they need to integrate multiple systems, automate complex business processes, incorporate new age technologies like IoT, analytics, machine learning, and etc. Another example what BTP can do is like, again, a given example, like an existing SAP customer wants to build a solution, cloud solution, to extend SAP system, like if you have a S4 HANA success factor, and the customer needs services for seamless integration between systems and applications. They also need to have independence in managing downtime, scalability, and lifestyle, life life cycle management. In both scenarios, organizations want to build the solution with minimal effort, low cost, and have faster time to market. They don't prefer to spend money and time on things like landscape setup, system installation, configuration, and maintenance. And that is the reason you can see nowadays you have lots of uh, small or medium business uh, is, are coming towards SAP. Initially, we are calling it as this SAP as elephant. I mean, like it's a huge cost and all the equipment. But after coming to this BTP and this cloud solution, even a small and medium businesses are coming to it. They are implementing SAP. Okay. Now let's go with an example like some of the like cloud computing models and all. Okay. Before that, let's go with like uh, uh, like if I go for the SAP BTP and all. They are giving the. I mean, here you have an option. By that you can host your applications like CPI or multiple applications, whatever I give, I was told you in the beginning, on your cloud server. Maybe if you, if you, if your organization wants to host their, your application, your SAP BTP, or I can say like SAP BTP, I mean like uh, your integration suite or SAP CPI or analytics and all, in, in Amazon cloud server, yes, SAP will allow, if you are going for Azure, yeah, it is also allowed. So you can perform such things and all. SAP uh, BTP, again, uh, here you have a cloud computing models and all like SaaS, PaaS, and IAS. SaaS is software as a service. It is a highly scalable internet based application which are hosted on the cloud and offered as service to the end user. Success factor, Ariba, Conquer, and all. If you have an example, this is basically used for the end users and all. Again, you have a pass platform as a service. Here, uh, the platform used to design, develop, build, and test applications are provided by cloud infrastructures. For example, your own SAP CI. So where CPI is set? It is a part of pass. Then infrastructure as a service, IaaS, it is basically pay per use model. You have a services like storage, database management, compute capabilities, which are offered on demand. For example, you have a Google Drives. You have seen Google Drives, right? You are storing your data, you are paying it, right? Similar concept is here. Now, let's go with the SAP integration suite. SAP integration suites connects and contextualize processes and data while enabling new content rich applications to be assembled faster with less dependence on it. Pre built integration packs along with existing investment can be composed to deliver new outcomes with less environment involvement 
by integration expert. This run on SAP BTP Cloud Foundry environment. Some of the features of your integration suites are like design and operate integration scenarios, design and develop your API, enable connecti connectivity of applications, integration packages are there under that one, simplify mapping implementation, and it can manage integration with trading partners and all. It has some of the capabilities. First is your CPI, API management, open connector, integration advisor, trading partner management, that is your TPM, and integration assessment. All are part of your integration suite. So SAP BTP, if you open SAP BTP, you have to navigate to integration suite and once you open integration suite, you have to navigate to cloud integration for working in SAP CPI. So never get confused between SAP BTP integration, integration suite and all, or maybe cloud integration. That means every time you are, they are talking about SAP, CPI, or CI. What is the CPI? CPI supports end-to-end -end process integration through the exchange of messages. SAP cloud integration helps you to connect cloud and on-premise applications with other SAP and non-SAP cloud and on-premise applications. This service has the capabilities to process messages in real-time scenarios spanning different companies, organization, or departments within one organization. What are the features of your SAP CPI? Like it can implement the diverse scenarios, it can connect to multiple endpoints, customize SAP integration scenarios, or develop custom adapters. It can access public APIs, set up secure and reliable communication, implement various communication models and integrate it can integrate with sap po which is your on premise middleware tool right now let's go with the one of the like uh, i have promised you to go give you a demo and all so let's go with that demo hope you can see my screen so i'm going to create I'll showing you the live demo and all. So what I am going to do is that I am creating a uh, package and after that I will create an iFlow which is a part of your CPI. iFlow means integration flow. So before creating the iFlow, you need to create a package and all. Going to create an iFlow. What I am doing to that, I am I am integrating as a uh, Google's own uh, tool that is your Postman with your with your Gmail. So we are going to trigger the data from the, uh, we are going to trigger the data from your postman and it is going, going to Gmail. So you will receive in your Gmail. Then sending it directly to the uh, Gmail. For that, I have to choose one of the adapter that is called a mail adapter. I have to provide the SMTP details of your Gmail. SMTP.gmail.com/465. MTPS, so any user password that is your Gmail. This is like a normal uh, Gmail and all. You are writing a mail and all, right? So this is a from. So from mail ID is obviously we need to do some configuration and all. That I will tell you later. CBI mail thirty one. Subject I can say like test, body and all, I mean, whatever it is coming, I'm just keeping it as that set. Let's deploy this one. So 
so my i flow is it deployed now now i have to copy this one and trigger it to the from postman including the user id and password of your system I'm sharing my whole content and all in the whole screen and all it will be easy for you to understand yeah i'm using a postman this is already i have copied it okay i am writing something like Just, just come in. I am triggering it. You can see I have received two hundred. Okay, that means it's successful. Let's see in the monitoring whether I have received any message and all from the CP from uh, postman. Yes, we have received it. Now we have to see it whether. we have received a mail in my gmail or not let's hold for a second i just checking the spam and all or what is the reason not received it so i'm sharing my screen again and you will be able to see my mail that i have received a mail hi this is a test mail all right So this is how we can integrate multiple system, whether it's SAP, non-SAP, all right. Whether it's on-premise or cloud-based. Now let's go with the course content. Yeah, and from the course content content perspective, we can see uh, we will see like BTP global account integration suite setup. From the day one, you you are going to start working on SAP CPI. We will provide the server. or you can say that uh, you have own server from the day one then you have a pricing model i will tell you what are the pricing models are available then at last we'll cover this api management and open connector which is on hands on again from cpi perspective yes uh, we will see the live examples most of the like uh, pat I, i mean like pallet functions and all what are the adapters you have everything we are going to see here we'll see the practical is a more and more towards the practical things you will get the theoretical things also but yes you will see the hands on of most of the things most of the topic most of the pallet functions which is available currently in sap cpi for that you are going to work you will get to know how those things are working what is the use for those things then i will give you the basics of groovy script some of the bonus topics we are going to cover for example soap versus o data api security materials how you can go for the like transport and all your from one account to another account alert notifications how you can create your alert notification how you can retry your messages and all everything we are going to see here i will give you idea how you can start working on your sap sorry postman and soap tool now the soap tool uh, so uh, postman is very popular so i want you should have a hands on with the postman also also i will guide you what are the best practices for your sap cpi and some of the tips and tricks this is what we are going to cover and also some of the topics which we are going to uh, share with you additional to this co additional to this one like how you can migrate uh, your uh, sap uh, i mean your po things and all or maybe Uh, now it is what is happening you have a uh, new environment new is like sap cloud environment from where if you want to migrate to from neo to btp cloud from environment how you can what are the options available how you can do it those things we are going to cover you will get an idea like how you can migrate it 
so that in future if any projects come you will get an idea or you have uh, i mean like you can do it this is most of the things i can tell you like from this training itself so this is what about the today's session a uh, today's demo if you have any contact any any concern any questions and all you can send a mail to contact at anubhavtrainings.com or you can contact us at plus 9184484549 also if you have any any anything stated to uh, to this uh, cpi content uh, integration suite content if you have any concern yes you can connect with us so you can send a mail and this training is going to be start from tomorrow thank you everyone thanks for joining the session thank you all right thank you so much once again for joining this episode with me on anubhavtrainings.com for in more interesting videos like this please like share and subscribe this channel kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will be notified for free content like this in the future please do share this channel in the whatsapp group or over the email with your colleagues so they can also take advantage of this free content with anubhavtrainings.com once again thank you so much for watching anubhav signing out have a nice day and goodbye